Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles with me, Get Daved. Um, got an enemy tank shooting at us over there. Damage on the Edelweiss. I think I'm going to run Understood. Carl back to fix up the Edelweiss and then... Uh, we'll try... Uh, yeah, I think I might try blowing up the enemy tank. So what is that? There we go. Thank you. I suppose I might as well move him back to where he was. Don't look down. You'll only panic. He's reasonably safe there. We could somehow get Alicia behind that tank. She could probably destroy it with her gun. But that's a pretty big gif. I, I don't think it's possible for her to live getting behind it. Maybe if we put some useful orders on her. But uh, what I'm going to try doing instead is super demolition power on the Edelweiss. Destroying the target is your top priority. That might have been overkill. Maybe Entering not. Combat. But that's five command points we're investing. And time to trigger the mortars. Outside of the mortar area. Two kill three. I did demolition boost, man. Probably an impossible hit. Well. Here we go. Might as well go for it at this point. likely to land a hit at least. Keep moving, go. Probably should have moved an engineer in first. I guess we'll just have to back it off here. Entering combat. Also, I don't know if I got that much of a damage boost from Demolition Boost, to be honest. Oh well, it's dead, Jim. I'm impressed, but not surprised. Uh, we'll just back up and be patient. Let's see if we can get Carlisle in there. It looks like he's in a bad spot. That's it for turn one. Yeah, I had a feeling that was coming. Okay, can we shoot you down? Please? Not quite. Maybe he'll act one more time. They just kill their own man. Apparently those mortars are just not that destructive. I guess the Lancers have blast suits on, but still. From the look of it, it was roughly as dangerous as whatever took out the dinosaurs. I'll do my best. Okay. Put yourself in the enemy's blind spot. 
Almost stepped on it there. Head toward the objective. All right, Carl, do it. Kill him dead. <laughs> Please proceed with caution. Well, while you're at it. Make good use of cover as you proceed. I guess I could have gotten even closer. Oh well, we learned a lot about Carl. His strengths, his weaknesses. Entering combat. A lot of weaknesses with that boy. Not what you typically call an alpha specimen. Please don't let up on the offense. Did that kill him? I feel like he should be dead now. No, okay, it spawned him way the heck over there, though. Maybe we can ignore him? I moved far enough ahead. If we stopped right there, we'd actually be excessively vulnerable. But I'll just keep on plowing ahead here. Hmm, a shock trooper, eh? Enemy sighted. Try to strike him. Wonder what would be more beneficial. It's destroying the cover or both units. Oh wow, we can apparently have both. That increased payload's all right. You know, I think he's still vulnerable. If we get a single pot shot off, we can just take him down, but... Moving out. Okay. That's our insurance policy, and since both units are dead, Alicia might be able to take her camp on this turn. It's a bit of a hike. Try not to take any needless actions. Come on, scouts. Okay, that'll disrupt their reinforcements, which is super nice. We have kind of shortcoming in terms of our available units at this point. Um, I also expect heavy resistance on this side of the bank. And I have a trolley accessible here, which was allegedly for getting behind the enemy. I can only assume there's a ton of enemies there. I think I've already lost the A rank because I didn't move the Adelweiss twice on one turn. Pull it together. Really? Now. Nice work. Keep taking oh. them down. Glad I noticed that. No one will know this happened. The labor camp is up ahead. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Got an anti-tank mine on the tracks, it looks like. Pardon me, not the tracks, the bridge. Choices. Uh, Move the Adelweiss forward one small bit. I think I'm going to get Carl in there and try disarming that mine, best. or at least put him in better position to do so. Just look at all the steel. The labor camp is up ahead. 
Alright, and at the very least he can get shot. I have a distinct uh, feeling that a sniper is going to pick him off pretty soon. Alright, you know what? What the heck? Let's go for the A rank. The AA rank. Gotta love nature. Call it a turn. Maybe in three actions we can get the auto vice to the uh, the checkpoint. Hmm. I'm getting the impression this is not the train mission everyone was freaking out about. Yeah, I think this is the last A rank turn. Uh, yeah, let's do this properly. Enemy sighted. Hmm. Okay. Well, where is it gonna strike? That's not happening. Well, that was marginally helpful. We learned a lot. Okay, we're gonna have to sneak Alicia in. I wonder if her gun's powerful enough to destroy a tank with, uh, without a boost, but I'm expecting she'll find more enemies. Yeah, like that. Ooh, I wonder if we can double dip. Keep that cover fire coming. Now. Yeah. That's two kills for the price of one. question is what do we do with the tank the, labor camp is up ahead. the lancers i think we can both take out with a mortar actually probably not they're lancers oswald the iron uh in close we should be fine with alicia He doesn't have cover, so she, he's in huge trouble. Four shots to the radiator will kill it. Oh, wait. Four bullets, period? Now. Should have been in cover, Oswald. Nice work. Keep taking him down. That leaves me with seven command points. Okay, I think we can do this all in one turn. My turn, okay? With Alicia, we'll take advantage of her DLC gun. If we didn't have it, I'd have to expend an order on her right now. Pad to get nice efficient driving. Interesting. Fire! 
Seven bullets out of seven would have to hit to kill that other Lancer with the machine gun. That's kind of surprising to me. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Uh, I think it's doubtful. There we go. looks doubtful. I think we're gonna miss it by Enjoying inches. Combat. Oh my goodness. And that's gotta be an A rank. You just don't have the AP to finish it any faster. Operation complete. We're in. Yep. Right on. It's pretty tense. and a cool 40,000 experience. Are we getting a medal for every single thing we do? All right, uh, yeah, let's do some story real quick. Wait, wait. I'm overriding that save file. We had an A rank. this quiet. It's hard to imagine I drove a tank in. What the hell is this? Hey. Zaka? What brings you folks here? And how'd you get in? We killed Gunther everyone. Gunther is my name. I was told there was a militia sympathizer here. <laughs> Only sympathizes with the right. militia. Welkin, I'm your guy. I'm Zaka. It's nice to meet you. Hey, Pumpkin. I've got to talk some adult stuff with these folks. Would you be a good girl and go to bed for me? <sighs> okay. Good night. She's sweet. She your kid's sister? Probably a stranger. No. Both her parents died a while back. They were victims of torture. Torture? That's just horrible. I mean, I thought things were all right we up until that. To do. Follow me, let's get started. As you can see, Thousand's factories are located on the canyon's edge, split between an upper and lower level. Where could you possibly There's get a map? There's an armored train that services those factories. It moves on rails built into the upper level, shooting downward. We should destroy the rails. It's up there. It's completely out of our range. How do we attack it? Glad you asked. We take it down with this little wonder. It's a Ragnite bomb. I made it myself. I've been sneaking spare parts from under the Empire's watch for weeks. I can guarantee its power. You think one bomb's gonna blow this thing up? Well, if we had a small thermal exhaust the port. We use it on this. This I map. It. We take out the rails. Then the train drops into the canyon from the bridge. I'm shocked we're actually doing that. You can leave the setting of the bomb to me. I want all of you to provide a diversion so I can get in there and attach the package to a strut. Once I've wired it and gotten a safe distance away, I'll give you a signal. Then you'll detonate it and destroy the bridge. Right. Sounds good. I have a feeling I'm going to be blowing him up for the greater good. Did you have any questions about the mission then? No, I got it. Hmm. Is there something else? Forget it. Oh, I get it now. You're wondering if you can trust me because I'm a Darkson, yeah? Yeah, it seems like he has a pretty good life right now. He should probably be a threat to fight to protect it. If you don't mind me asking, 
Tell me something you like. What? Something you enjoy. There's got to be something, right? Um, singing, I guess. I like to sing and listen to other folks. A musician, huh? Nice. I like to sing too. Nothing beats a nice tune and a little stroll. Music can pick you up or make you cry. <laughs> Anthems can drive a whole country to war. That's the great thing about music. Variety. Every song is different, but it's all good. Waiting for the dark twist. Yeah, I guess so. So what are you getting at? If you appreciate diversity in music, why hate all the Darksons? That is not where I thought he was going. What? There's plenty of races in the world. Each has its traits, but people are all unique. Just like with music. They've all got their good points. Well, I think so anyway. There's some songs I really don't care for. Entire genres, actually. Oh no. Singing's more fun with a chorus, right? I agree, Zaka. There are over 30,000 kinds of beetles in the world, each with its own characteristics. But is there one kind of beetle that's just really only a pest, Welkin? It's the same for us, too. Ugh. Another one of the boss's nature talks. Beetles. Well, the cat is completely oblivious. <laughs> wow, that's a new one. I never heard a man compare people to bugs in a good way before. I'd have to agree, though. Bickering won't do us any good. Let's try to make nice. Hmm. Okay. The operation begins tomorrow at dawn. I want everyone ready for combat. Stop looking at the camera, Welkin. All right. Uh, in the next episode, uh, from what I understand, the worst battle of all time. Also, uh, that picture of the doll by number six is kind of getting me worried. Hmm. I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>